Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting me, welcome. No, I always do that. That's the exact same thing I, I do every single time. So last week I was hanging out with my mom for the week and um, I did try to get her on camera, but she was extremely camera shy. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't, don't. No, I don't want you to. Seriously, I don't want you to. I'm not going to put it in anything. No, don't. Stop. <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm just filming us like going no, off don't, to... don't. I'm not filming you. We're going off to Gentle Fit. No, because... I'm it, not putting this what you... in it. <laughs> Okay, okay that's good. Bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so my kids were off in camp last week and I got to spend the week with my, my mom and my dad. Um, I had a really good time. Mom and I didn't get to any auctions, but we uh, did manage to do some painting. So that was kind of fun and I don't have any finished product to show you, but um, I was doing a landscape, so that was fun. So here in Toronto, we are in a nice heat wave and I'm sitting outside and I, I don't know if the sound of the cicadas is picking up in the background but I love that sound like to me usually we hear them in August but we've been hearing them all, like all month of July so ah little cicadas it's so nice so oh there they are <laughs> so if you hear this that set buzzing sound in the background that's what it is it's a cicada anyways um, so today I want to talk to you about um, the right time to transition to silver and I realized that that title is just a little bit of clickbait in a way, but um, there really is no right time to transition. I'm sure you probably already realize that, but maybe you don't because there's been a lot of um, comments, not only on my YouTube channel, but I've also seen on, on Pinterest as well. Um, sorry, not Pinterest, on Instagram. Um, amazing support networks on Instagram, by the way. So if you don't already have it, I would sign up um, yeah, so I've heard some, some comments from um, women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and so on. And a lot of the comments I hear are, it's not the right time. And the reasons why um, often are because of the pressure that we are receiving from our friends, right? Like these are our, and I shouldn't even go friends because these are our like closest, closest friends oftentimes that really they do want the best for us and they truly believe that is an awful sound in the background what is that all right so i brought you inside my house because it's just too loud out there so first off i have to tell you what i did this morning before i get into some nitty gritty about um <laughs> Okay. Nitty gritty. Um, okay, so first I'm going to tell you what I did this morning. So two weeks ago I had a video um, and I, it was my whatever, 7, 16 month update I think and I said in it I'm going to be patient and I'm not going to cut my hair, I'm just going to let it grow. So I'm going to try to worry less about the, the um, yellow bits that I have in my hair. I, for some reason I wake up every single day and I look at them and think about cutting them and stuff and um, yeah I just think it's it's I need to have more patience so that's what I'm gonna be working on for for now for month 17 well it literally lasted two weeks because this morning I woke up and I was just so tired of looking at those orange ends that I took well I took my my scissors and just chopped so the back now I don't know Everett can you see this in the yeah so the back now is pretty good but you can see this whole top area right here is chopped short so i literally i'm pretty sure i'm borderline mullet action right now it's not a nice haircut so i'm just going to pull it back like this and i'll book um an appointment with my hairstylist to just fix it up a little bit for me so anyway that aside lack of patience i swear that's like a full other video because um a lot of you comment about about that as well and wanting to give up and all kinds of stuff so we'll, we'll save that for another video but anyways um, yes yeah, so right time to transition to silver so yeah, there, the thing is is there really is no right time to transition I think the right time is so individual for each one of us and um, you know I could say to myself oh I wish I had have done this like 
you know, eight years ago or whatever when I was first thinking about it in my early 30s. But truth be told, I just, I don't think I would have been ready then. So I think this is the right time for me. And for all of you who are watching this, it's probably your right time as well. Um, but I find like, if you are having so many doubts and you're just not sure, and this is, be, I'm talking about you're not going through the transition right now, you're thinking about transitioning. If you're having tons of doubts, um, then it probably isn't the right time. So for me, I, I was like 100%, I'm like, that's it. I am so sick of dyeing my hair, I cannot do this anymore. And I knew. But the problem is, is that when you're going through the transition, those doubts will start creeping in because you'll look at yourself in the mirror. One um, subscriber uh, commented, I think she's like eight months into it, and she said, um, "Like I can't, I can't handle this. I hate it." And that's the part where you need that patience to just persevere and go through it because what you see in the mirror at six months or eight months or ten months is not what. The full look is going to be. It isn't unless you have like a really really short pixie cut, and that's how you style your hair. Then it may just take a few months, and you're at you're where you want to be. So, but even then, if you've got like you know say short in the back and a little longer in the front or something, it's still going to take a while to get that that growth. So, um, so um, a really lovely woman um, on. Uh, Instagram she commented she's in her 20s and so she's trying to transition and her friends are basically saying to her um, you know what I liked the way you looked better with brunette hair like she's actually transitioning right now and they're telling her like you looked better that way so I felt awful awful when I when I read that um, post from her and I just ha I had to comment back and I'm not gonna say her name on here just to keep her privacy I don't know if she wants to, me to say it so I'm not going to but um, yeah what a love she's a lovely person and um, I looked through some of her pictures to see what she looked like before because I was curious I was like does she look better like you know because I mean how can you comment when you don't know and I actually looked through and I don't think she does. I think she looks absolutely stunning with the silver hair. So I want to say right now, I think, you know, there hasn't been one person where I've looked at a before and an after photo that I haven't liked the silver hair more on them. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because the natural highlights of silver are just striking and they've just make you brighter I don't know but there hasn't been one person so I hope that that is a little bit inspiring to you and will help you keep pushing forward um, yeah so there's, there's a kind of a debate between um, transitioning when you're younger and transitioning when you're older and it's very interesting because a lot of women that are older and I'm gonna say probably 50s and onward um, have said to me, yeah, you know, you're lucky that you're transitioning at, at a younger age when you're maybe when your face is a little bit more youthful, it's so much easier. There's, you know, less pressure or whatever, right? Because it's trendy or whatever. But I, I don't know about that because there is a lot of societal pressure right now for, um, youth and young people to look young and gray is still in people's minds not a youthful color so yes it's a trendy color but not necessarily a youthful color and you know I think a big part of that is because we we do call it granny hair right so I think that that doesn't help anything it's like oh you've got granny hair oh you're so trendy and this will this I've, I've had stylists before say that trend will pass right it's not a trend it's real and I think that the more women that are authentic out there it'll just become normal I think for 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 people so yeah so I don't know I, I think that there isn't a magic age um, when you're transitioning I think the key is is that you feel comfortable in your own hair 
and that confidence that shines and that shows and you're laughing and you're having fun even with you know a few inches of growth and the rest is brunette or the rest is red or whatever but you're laughing you're having fun you don't look like you're you know moping around and grumpy i think it just doesn't matter what color you have on your head i don't think any like people don't care they want to um they want to know you right so all right so moving forward um i've had a few different requests for um videos and one of those requests is actually for uh fitness and health after my first son was born and I released from the military, I decided that I would be a personal trainer when he was about a year old. Um, and it was kind of funny because I started, I started personal training and then I think three weeks after I had started, I <clears throat> realized I was pregnant with my, my second child. So I didn't want to tell these new and potential clients. So I was so sick. I had like the worst morning sickness and um, was training them. And of course, I mean, that first trimester, you know, you get out of breath and uh, yeah, so anywho. Um, but I liked, I liked personal training and that's why, I'm strong. That's why you're strong. Ever, my, my youngest son that says that's why, why he's strong. So that's kind of cute. But anyways, um, I, I really still, like fitness is still my, my passion and um, living a healthy life. So, I just, if you're interested in, um, I could even do fitness videos for you. Like if some of you just would rather work out at home and follow uh, a video, I'd be more than happy to create a little um, workout routine for you, a stretching routine. All right, so just let me know in the comment section below um, if you're interested in that, okay? So just say, um, like comment with fitness and whatever you want, stretching or fitness, um weights or whatever so just just let me know if that's something that you would be interested in i know that this is my my silver hair journey um but uh, you know i have a lot of interests <laughs> and um yeah fitness and, and health are definitely definitely my a big passion of mine so anyways uh so i hope that this video is a little bit of inspiration for you to take the plunge no matter where you are um, in your life, your 20s or your 30s or your 70s. Um, if you're ready to, to ditch the die, then it's the right time. And it doesn't matter what your friends say, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks, it's what you think. And just know that um, that beginning transition is not always the prettiest that's just the way it is and it takes a lot of patience and take it from me who just <laughs> chopped my hair off this morning but I actually feel good I just had to chop that stuff off I just I feel better even though I look like a shaggy shaggy dog right now um, yeah so it's not always it's a real test of patience and um, I wish you well if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe uh, for more videos from me every Tuesday. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Is it filming? Yeah. Is it filming? Yeah. Your, your legs have to look like hot dogs so you have to put them My on. legs look like hot dogs. So don't put them like this. Put them like this. It's normal. How's that? Um, no, straight. The Duchess Just cross? Just straight. Just straight. Okay. Like that? Hand in my lap? Yeah, perfect. Actually, no, you have really big hot dogs now. Ah! All right, so we just came inside out of the hot, hot, sizzling heat and the love. No, loud. that's not right. That's not right. The heat. It's it's the, the sound. Okay, don't push. You can't push that. that. It's not because of the heat. Just okay. do it the sound. All right, so I brought you back inside my house. Well, you're never inside the house to begin with. Okay, so I brought you back inside. No, why do I keep saying back inside? Okay. okay.